first at the U and Jim Dutcher became his coach. You had the unique scenario of both coaching and hiring Flip as a uh, assistant coach back in 1981. What were the qualities that led you to hire Flip as an assistant back then? Well, when I came in, Flip was going into his junior year, and uh, he was one of the first guys I talked to because he was a veteran coming back. And his first question was, are we going to run the pregame show? <laughs> I said, Flip, that would be a no. And he said, all the guys know it. I said, that's why it's a no. And uh, when I came in as an assistant with Michigan, during the warm-up, we had to sit there. We were warming up and watch the Gophers go through it. And Tony Dungy was a good friend of mine. I'd recruited Tony in high school. Right. I recruited him in basketball in Michigan. He came uh, to Minnesota to play football. And I called Tony over, I said, if the elephants come out, we're leaving, Tony. <laughs> but that was my, Flip was the guy that I leaned on. He was our point guard. He, he was a very, very intelligent player. He keyed our offense. We had three first round draft choices on the 77 team. Uh, a first round, first pick, Michael Thompson. The third in the first round, Kevin McHale. Sixth in the first round, Ray Williams. Osborne Lockhart played nine years with the Globetrotters, and at the end of the year, Flip was our most valuable player <laughs> in the players, and, and that was right. He was the one guy, Tom, we couldn't play without. Let's talk a little bit about the 77-76 team uh, in particular, most valuable player. Difficult with all that talent to kind of keep everybody together on the court, and yet Flip was the right man for the job. Yeah, he was, and, and the other guys were great guys. Uh, we lost Ray Williams uh, two years ago to colon cancer, but I talked to Michael Thompson, Osborne Lockhart, you know, often. Right. And Dave Whiney, who was a member of that team, a, a good player, uh, he was at Flip's memorial service on Saturday, and I had a nice talk with Dave, first time in 30 years wow. for Dave Whiney. That 77, 76-77 team, featured a couple players that ultimately were reunited here in Minnesota with the Timberwolves. The Golden Gopher starting five featured Michael Thompson, who would become the first overall pick in the NBA draft. Ray Williams drafted 10th in the first round and Osborne Lockhart, who went on to have a long career with the Harlem Globetrotters. The fifth member of the group would someday be named the Gophers' greatest player of all time, the freshman from Hibbing, Kevin McHale. There, there are stories about Kevin that, you know, our first road trip, he went to Nebraska. I can remember him playing, and he got into a scuffle with one of the players, and uh, before you knew it, it was Carl McPipe, who was about 6'10", about 290, and uh, Ray Williams goes in there and pushes Kevin aside and tells Carl McPipe, you know, if you want to pick on someone, pick on someone your own size. You know, Ray's 6'2", you know, 210. So we kind of looked out for Kevin, and uh, uh, we won that game. And we can remember the next day, Coach Dutcher was sitting in the front seat, and, and Kevin, uh, you know, when I had some buddies from Hibbing that were actually at, at the game, stayed overnight. So we're waiting to get on the bus, and all of a sudden, here comes Kevin driving up in a car with one of his buddies, and he comes walking out with a Nebraska red hat with a white N on it. And as he got on the bus, um, all Coach Dutcher said, boy, this is going to be a long four years. <laughs> Uh, the beginning of a, an interesting time for Kevin McHale. You know, Flip and Kevin didn't necessarily think alike for basketball. When they collaborated here, that proved to be a good thing. Uh, looking at this game in different ways and finding a way to uh, come up with a solution, I think, uh, benefited the Timberwolves. Yeah, they both played to their positions. Flip yeah. was a guard. He wanted those guards moving and taking those open shots. Kevin said, just get it to the big man. And the players called it the black hole. When it didn't make hail, it never came back. <laughs> he was a great inside scorer. But when uh, Kevin was voted the, the player of all time at University of Minnesota, I called to congratulate him. And he said, you know, that's great, coach. I wasn't the best player of my own team. Michael was. <laughs> and he was right. <laughs> Flip Saunders uh, leaned on you, coach. We had a chance to talk with him many times about influences. You were always mentioned as uh, one of his favorites. Thanks so much for stopping by and sharing your memories of the man on a, a very difficult night. Yes, thank you, Tom. You bet.